Hi, so today we're going to be solving this expression, uh, and our first step is to fill out the k-map. So let's go and fill that out. Oops. And now our next step is to circle our groups. So. Okay, now let's come up with our expression. So let's start with this one right here, um, since it's our single group. So that would be A naught B from here and C D naught. And then let's come up with another term. And we're going to take this one and that would be uh, that would be whatever is common with here and here. So what we have in common is a naught and now c naught d. And then let's come up with another term. Uh, let's come up with this one and whatever is common here. So we have. Uh, C, C naught, and D naught, and we our common is A, so A, C naught, D naught, and then let's come up with another term right here. Uh, Whatever is common here is A and C and D, so D, and now let's come up with this last big term, uh, which would just be a b naught. So for product of sums, we're going to take this exact k map and we're going to fill out our mm -hmm. ones. So let's do that real quick. And then now we're going to fill out our zeros. And what we're going to do is we're going to circle our zeros now, our groups. So this is our group, this one, this one, and two single node groups. And now we know, now we wanna fill out our expression, but this doesn't quite yield our product of sums exactly. This actually yields what we call y bar and or y naught. So our product of sums is actually y double bar. So what we're going to do is we're going to write out y bar and so let's see. so we're going to start let's start with this outer group. So the common term there are uh, a naught and b naught and d naught. So, to write it like this: a naught, b naught, d naught. And then we're going to let's go for this group. So that is um, c naught and d naught and a naught. So, a naught, c naught, d naught. And then now this group, so a naught c d, and now these two final groups, these single node groups, so a b c o d naught, and a b c d naught. Right. So now we want to find y double bar. So, um. Let's see here. Instead of rewriting this, I'm just going to write this. So I'm just going to put another double bar on top of it. But what we do to this side, we also have to do to this side. So let's put a bar all the way over. And now we're going to do a really big De Morgan's Law. So how we're going to do that is we're going to separate 
these terms first, these pluses. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's do, we're gonna keep everything on the inside of our parentheses the same for now, but we're just gonna put a bar over it. And now we're breaking that bar right here. And now we're going to change that logic here. So we're going to be multiplying now and we're breaking that bar. We're keeping everything on the inside of our parentheses the same. Bar over the top and then same for every single one. So let's keep everything on the inside the same. Put a bar on top, inside the same, bar over the top. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do De Morgan's again. So on the inside of the parentheses, we're going to break this bar. So we're going to have to do double bars, but we're going to change that logic on the inside. But that logic on the outside stays the same. Now, if you can simplify in your head um, because you know that these double bars uh, go away, um, by all means, you can skip this step, but I'm just showing it for the sake of showing all the work. ourselves a little bit more room. Oops, I did not mean to put a plus right here. Okay, and now we're going to simplify, as I said a little bit earlier, um, these double bars just go away. I forgot to put a bar up here. And now we said earlier that your product of sums is equal to y double bar. So this just goes here. And this is now your product of sums. And you can see that this is our product of sums because on the inside of our parentheses, we're summing up our terms or oring them together. And then on the outside, we're multiplying them. So we're getting a product, we're anding all of our sums together. So we're anding our ors together.